this is a video about um, some of my latest vision uh, visions about comet ison and the phenomena that is uh, concerning comet ison. I will basically be talking about uh, um, its effect. Um, right now, it's having an effect on me. Um, I've been um, un been um, <coughs> I've been unable to sleep for uh, about 48 hours. Um, I feel a great energy increase um, in uh, the, 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 the vortex of energy. Uh, the earth is already starting to um, pick up on some of the um, some of the ionic, what I call the positive ionic. Um, electrical charge that's uh, built up in part of what's left of uh, the biggest piece of um, comet ison. I must, I must, I have a sensitive gift. It is uh, um, among some of my gifts of gift for vision and visionary. Um, I have a gift for dreams and um, and I love science. I always loved science since I was just a little kid. Um, I was interested in comets since I was a boy. And I have a pretty good understanding of comets. Um, I also have a gift from God all uh, to, um, to uh, decode and to understand uh, petroglyphs. And that's how I found the name of God. The understanding that all is the... Uh, all is the original God, and I'll uh, start by uh, blessing uh, Zah, the Messiah, and all the original God in this uh, video. So my friends, I will tell you, um, when you were little kids, if you can remember um, where the sun would appear to be setting uh, in the western sky, you can now look and find that... Um, each day that passes by, a small degree of uh, differences that you'll find the sun uh, setting further toward the north. And um, I'll tell you another thing too. If I, if you have trouble believing anything that I say, I try to make it into a way to where you can go and check out what I'm talking about, so you can see that um, it's not a lot of um, hype on my channel. Um, I tell stuff exactly how it is, and I don't try to um, hide anything. Uh, I just try to tell everything that I that I've seen in my vision to people that it might help warn, or to people that just I feel like need to know about the real phenomena concerning uh, planet ice on. Um, I said planet ice on. I mean comet ice on. <laughs> um, I'll tell you um, one thing you can do is look at the at the sun as it's setting or appearing to setting to be setting in the western sky now I'll tell you that um, that baby star that's traveling with ISON uh, it's kind of like an optical illusion in my in my belief there's no conspiracy there I don't think NASA is trying to take that uh, star out of the clip but there is a optical illusion being a, a um, an optical illusion being produced when a bigger star is shining next to a little star the little star seems to disappear and like you can't see it um, <laughs> this happens in the morning every morning in the east if you look to the east um, just before daylight you see the the morning star up there it looks really bright in the sky and then when the day star our sun our day star when it rises up in the presence of the morning star the morning star becomes invisible. You can't see it anymore because it's a smaller star. And I want to talk to you a minute about the um, the real phenomena. They're called baby stars, dwarf stars. <laughs> some of them are small. Uh, some I have theorized that they could be as small as a marble, and other stars as small as a uh, as a uh, basketball. They're baby stars, and uh, so. 
try to understand that the concept is real because there are so, there are other suns or other stars in our universe that are maybe a hundred times the size of our sun and uh, and not all of those are red giants there's some that are just big huge stars giant stars and there are there are dwarf stars kinda like there's giant humans and there's dwarf humans so um, there are miniature stars that little uh, uh, body of light that's traveling with uh, ice on is a, sm is a much smaller star than our sun and is a baby star that I believe in my visions to have seen um, um, Comet ice on uh, pushed uh, and attracted that um, that baby star out of its orbit somewhere out there in the galaxy or whatever out there in the just beyond our solar system and it started pushing it along with it the reason that this happened is because um, basically Comet Ison is a, is a, has a highly electromagnetic um, magnetic um, uh, atmosphere if you will uh, what they're calling like a coma uh, a coma or whatever it's an, uh, an aura type magnetic atmosphere that's around in the comet and it's very very strong and that comet is extremely magnetic um, it, it pushed that baby star I believe out of its orbit and it might have been also pulling another smaller star back behind it somewhere in it, around its tail um, area so um, once again I don't believe that NASA is trying to hide the fact that there's a star with comet ice on but I will tell you in the beginning that I had seen even on YouTube some people that had put up some secret photographs and some secret video of this star and it was burning it looked like a burning torch um, it looked like a star like a little fiery looking sun and uh, when that thing went around the sun that baby star is what I call it the baby star uh, and the uh, Comet I saw and followed around it. You could see it in that cliff where just for an, a minute it kind of comes into frame. Uh, once again, I believe that is the optical illusion created when a big star shines in the presence of a smaller star. So what we'll talk about is that. We'll talk about um, in this video. We'll talk about uh, um, that what what we can basically expect with Comet Ison. Uh I had um, a vision of uh, Comet Ison on its way from the sun. It's going to pick up some um, highly reactive uh, elements from the planet Mercury and some more elements from the planet Venus before it gets to us. And uh, it's going to knock a whole bunch of some of those bigger rocks are going to hit Venus and hit Mercury and knock some of Mercury's um, um, elements and Venus's elements um, in with the comet and then it's going to travel towards Earth and uh, again I will tell you uh, some red looking um, meteors that look exactly like a red light at a street stop uh, a, a street um, uh, traffic signal red light that red that's exactly what these meteors look like in my vision my dream and they tumbled and hit the moon and when they hit the moon they exploded like a dust bomb of red glowing silt like ash that was glowing it was sort of radioactive and uh, it covered the whole moon pretty much because a bunch of them hit and put a bunch of dust all over the moon and was red and so it made the moon red looking and so uh, another big asteroid hit the moon and cracked it so that from earth you could see a crack in the moon there was a big old crack in there um, a bunch of those uh, elements are also from Venus and um, Mercury that have never been here in that um, proportion will be also coming to earth so we're going to have a lot of extraterrestrial um, elements here on our earth and when I say extraterrestrial I'm not talking about UFOs and aliens I'm talking about foreign elements that we don't have on our periodical table in uh, our you know our, like what we learned about in chemistry um, so I'm gonna stop the video right here because each video is going to be under 10 minutes uh, um, I like to just uh, say uh, all 
Arise God, Laza, uh, Arise the Messiah, and I uh, hope that uh, you are blessed by this information and that you found some of it interesting. I'll make another video next, another video, 10 minutes, within 10 minutes, and uh, I, will, I will see you then.